अब फ्रेंड्स कुछ बात करेंगे अबाउट द कैटेगरीज ऑफ लिंक्स दैट वी एम्प्लॉय एट द डेटा लिंक लेयर स्टूडेंट्स आई टोल्ड यू दैट वी हैव गॉट नोड्स एट द डेटा लिंक लेयर लेवल एंड दोज नोड्स आर एक्चुअली कनेक्टेड बाय मल्टीपल लिंक्स अब स्टूडेंट्स डेटा लिंक लेयर डिसाइड्स हाउ दीज लिंक्स व्हिच आर इन एसेंस योर ट्रांसमिशन मीडिया दे कैन बी गाइडेड मीडिया और अनगाइडेड मीडिया दे कैन बी वायर्ड और वायरलेस बट डेटा लिंक लेयर इज द सुप्रीम कमांडर ऑफ are deciding as to how these links are going to be used students so, there are two options um, either the data link layer is going to decide that um, this is going to be a dedicated link which is going to be used just for the two parties to communicate or um, this it's actually going to decide that it's not going to use the full capacity of the link and it's only going to use a little bit of the capacity and allow the other resources to use the same link as well so in essence um, students data link layer is going to be uh, uh, categorizing the the link in two different um, link types the first one is going to be a point to point link and the second one is going to be a broadcast link students so in the case of point to point link think about it as if you are picking up your um, landline and you call a particular um, person a particular friend of yours and then a crossbar switch or any other switching mechanism actually connects the telephone connection between you two so it's it's a dedicated point to point link the link stays on until you keep on talking to each other the moment you stop talking the link gets disconnected as well and then somebody else can use those resources on whatever type of switch that you are going to be using this is an example of a point to point link so it's now consider the same communication happening face to face so in this case uh, in this case what you are using is air as a transmission medium so in in the case of air as a transmission medium that particular transmission medium is a broadcast medium because you are only using a small part of that air there are other resources that are using that particular um transmission medium of air as well so in this case you are using a broadcast medium अब फ्रेंड्स कुछ बात करेंगे अबाउट द टू सब लेयर्स दैट वी डिवाइड आर डेटा लिंक लेयर इनटू ये दो सब लेयर्स आर डेटा लिंक कंट्रोल और डीएलसी और वी हैव गॉट मीडिया एक्सेस कंट्रोल और मैक स्टूडेंट्स वी विल हैव वंस अगेन योर टेक्स्ट बुक हैज टू फुल चैप्टर्स व्हिच टॉक अबाउट ईच वन ऑफ दीज लेयर्स इन फर्दर डिटेल बट फॉर नाउ यू नीड टू नो दैट यू हैव गॉट टू लेयर्स वन इज डेटा लिंक लेयर डेटा लिंक कंट्रोल डीएलसी एंड अदर वन इज uh media access control or mac students so on this slide what you see is basically the data link layer of a broadcast link and the data link layer of a point to point link students so the point that is noteworthy is that the the data link control sub layer or your dlc layer is involved with or it deals with the broadcast links as well as the point to point links students on the other hand you have got a sub layer which is the media access control sub layer and this deals with issues specific to broadcast link only this is not included in the data link layer of a point to point link so your mac or media access control sub layer that deals with broadcast issues related to broadcast link only we will talk about as i told you we'll talk about this in further detail but what you need to know is at this stage just uh, for me to introduce these two sub layers to you you need to know that the dlc and mac they have got different scope dlc is involved with all links um, in the case of data link layer broadcast and point to point and your mac is only um, there to deal with the issues of uh, broadcast links only